Good evening, everybody. Welcome once again to Virtual Church here live um, from Beauty and Sound on a Sunday night, as usual. As Bill Rady has just said, reharm, reharm. Yes, a little bit of naughty reharmonization there. And Sarah says, Happy Lent, everyone. We are, of course, in Lent now, the first Sunday of Lent. And that has obviously inspired you to get very creative in your requesting of hymns this week because, by Joe, I have a lot of hymns to get through, and which means I'm not going to have much chance for waffle. So let's go straight on uh, into our second hymn tonight. That was, of course, Jesus, Lover of My Soul from the tune Never Wish With. And then we're going to go into uh, 40 Days and 40 Nights, uh, one of the great tunes and one of the great hymns, of course, <clears throat> for this very poignant and solemn season of, of Lent. So let's have a go at 40 Days and 40 Nights. I'll be back with you in a jiffy. It's a very happy, happy ending. I don't know whether, I suppose that, yeah, it is a happy ending because this actually tells a story. If you read the words and think about the words, it's the story of the 40 days about Jesus being in the, in the wilderness. Not for 40 years, as the, um, the preacher at Arundel Cathedral this morning said, but for 40 days. Um, and then at the end, it's, uh, it gets into the resurrection. You know, the, the last two lines are, that's with thee we may appear at the eternal Easter tide. So, you know, you know what that means, don't you? It's just obviously it talks about the resurrection, and we'll um, we'll end up with with Jesus in eternity. That's the idea of it. <clears throat> so, I think it's a good opportunity to end with T. S. De Picardy. Okay, so let's keep on going. I'm going to go straight in now. Um, so, the, those first two hymns were requested by me. 
I put those in because those are my um, two favourite Lenten hymns. I'm now going to hand over to you. And more specifically, I'm going to hand over to Josh Wilson, who is um, who's not our producer tonight, but usually is our producer. Our producer tonight is James Palmer. So if there are any issues, if you want, um, if there's anything that you want to get in touch with me or you, whatever, James Palmer is your man. Okay, tonight. Thank you very much, James. So Josh Wilson, the other producer who's on holiday this week, <laughs> is having a break, uh, has requested, uh, over there, I think it's still in the chat, has requested Beneath the Cross of Jesus. Uh, to the tune since Christopher and he says this is a very well-known Lenten hymn at my church and now Josh I'm sure you can tell us whereabouts in the world you are and of course where your church is so beneath the cross of Jesus I fain would take my stand the shadow of a mighty rock within a weary land as I say this is to a tune called St Christopher I'm going to use the clarinet for the first, first verse. Just what you wanted to hear. very delicate words there, a very delicate tune and therefore a very delicate registration. Let's now go into a request, thank you very much Josh for sending that one through, a request now from Daniel Kubaki who sent in a hymn as Pant the Heart for the Cooling Streams. So this is obviously a paraphrase on the wonderful psalm like as the heart's desire after the water brook, so long of my soul after thee, O God. The tune is uh, called uh, Martyrdom, um, and there are four verses. And yes, so this is obviously, I say obviously, to me, those, those are my favourite uh, 
words in the Psalms. It's gorgeous, Psalm 42. And of course, the wonderful setting, there are two settings that spring to mind. There's the Palestrina version in Latin, Sicut Cebus, and then the wonderful English version, version by uh, our dear Herbert Howells, like as the heart, one of his greatest miniature anthems. But here it is in hymn form for Daniel Kubaki. very gorgeous tune thank you very much Daniel for sending it through it is obviously even more beautiful when the organists can play the correct <laughs> notes anyway let's go into now another hymn let's keep pushing on this is this is already our sixth hymn tonight so we're going to go into a hymn Jesus keep me near the cross would you do me a favor all of you watching or 238 currently watching would you just click the like button on this video it costs you nothing at all, but it really helps me. It helps this channel, and more specifically, it helps this video reach a wider audience. So I would really appreciate it if you just very quickly, just with your finger or with your mouse, click the like button on this video. I really appreciate that. So Jesus, keep me near the cross. This has come in from um, Derek Warren. Doesn't give me any reason why he wanted to request it, but doesn't need to this is this is um this isn't a good time signature you'll like this because it has an uplifting feel about it I don't know why but you seem to like um, music in 6-8 so here we go this one is very much in 6-8 Okay, and this is what it sounds like.
That was a beautiful request there from Derek Warren. Thank you uh, very much indeed, Derek, for requesting that. And um, who was it who said? Uh, Bill Mack, EYT, Bill McPutt, said, I prefer it a little slower, more meditative perhaps. And Lu Ludwig, apologies about pronunciation, said, slow down, sir. Derek Martin just simply gives a ghost a top hat and a monocle. monocle. Ooh, thanks, Jerry. <laughs> Maurice Coates simply says, greetings all. Who's all? Okay, so let's go into um, our next request, which is another one from me. This is another um, hymn that I really like uh, in this wonderful, wonderful, that's not the right word, poignant season. I said wonderful because it's my favorite, That's if that's the right sort of word to use. It, it touch, it, this season touches me the most. I think spiritually, anyway. I think the whole the whole journey, the passion story, the journey from the beginning of Lent through Holy Week, uh, into you know obviously into Passion Tide, um, you know not before going into Palm Sunday, of course, and then the Easter weekend. It's a wonderful spiritual journey, isn't it? It's what it's all about. I mean, Christmas is yeah. He was born fine. He had to be born at some point. That was inevitable. It's just a birthday, right? We all have those. But we don't all get put on a cross. <laughs> quite simply, we don't. Um, and that, the build-up to that is quite quite unique, I think. And there's been a lot of very powerful art um, created for this season. And for us, it's music and poetry, um, whether it be, you know, a poem that is a, has a sacred connotation, or whether it's a hymn with beautiful words. So, this one is how deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that He should give His only Son to make a wretch His treasure. How great the pain of searing loss! The Father turns His face away, as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory. Music. And words are by Stuart Townend. And this is a one of my, um, as far as Stuart Townend goes at least, I think this is one of my uh, favourites from him. That's H Y M. H H Y M. What word is that? H I M. Him. Okay, let's have a go at this one.
think it's probably one of Stuart Townend's best hymns, actually. Let me have a little vote. Um, which Michael Paradise asks, what is the name of the tune? Um, I don't know what the tune is called, actually, but it's, I don't think it has a name, but it goes to, with the words how deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, and it's by Stuart Townend. And it's very, very effective, actually. It's very nice. It doesn't want to be any louder than that. I think, actually, it could go that speed. It's on the slow side, but I think it, you can get away with it at that speed because the word's powerful. I think when you have words that are poignant and have real meaning, you have to think about them rather than rushing through them. It's all personal, though, isn't it? It's all subjective. And okay, let's go into. Um, let's. I guess we could pop out of Lent for a minute because we're allowed to do that, aren't we? That's what we do day to day. We go to work. We look after our family. We go shopping, do the chores, go to the gym. We pop out of Lent for a minute, and then we come back into Lent at church and at home. So we're going to pop out of Lent now for Bobby Hendley, who requested um, one of my favourite hymns. Actually, it's all creatures of our God and king thank you very much jerry i just saw a purple flash up on the screen that's very kind so um if you um would like to make a live request you can uh, these are all pre-requests so if you want to make live requests i will play the live requests after we've had the pre-requests which have come in during the week and then we're going to have a wonderful top five tonight and then we'll get into the live requests so you guys can make this show what it is. You can make it fantastic by requesting all sorts of things, okay? Let's get some really cool requests tonight and let's pay for the music room. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. I really wish it was that easy. Um, speaking of which, by the way, Patreons, you saw my message on Patreon. Um, it was addressed to everybody, okay? Not just to, um, not just to free members, it was addressed to everybody. Okay, so I would prefer not to have free Patreon memberships uh, because I, you know, BIS isn't free, unfortunately. I wish it was, I wish it was. I wish this organ was free. I wish the iPad was free. You know, I wish our electric bills were free. The broadband monthly contract was free. I wish this monitor was free, it's not. And this microphone, I wish that was free. <laughs> My stream deck, which you can't quite see this thing here, I wish that was free. My GoPros, alas, they all cost a heck of a lot of money. And the music room is definitely going to cost a lot of money. Help me out, guys. All creatures of our God and King for Bobby Henley, who says, absolute favourite hymn, bar none. Let's go, Bobby. <laughs>
as a few of you had pointed out, yes, there were some hallelujahs or alleluias in the hymn, but let's not forget that virtual church is not actually church. It's just me playing some hymns online. <laughs> so I don't feel as though I should go and repent just yet. All right. It is always nice to see over 300 people. So you are all very welcome. Um, thank you for popping in tonight. I hope that you are enjoying the hymns. And I did say, before I played that, I did say that we would pop out of Lent. And now, let me just make sure. Yes, and now we are definitely, definitely going to pop back right into Lent. And actually, I would say into Passion Tide now. So we're going to actually look forward a little bit. This one is coming in from Roger Richards, who sent in a really wonderful hymn. It's, um, Ah, Holy Jesu, how hast thou offended to the wonderful tune, uh, wonderful tune, bear with me, what's the tune called? Oh yes, um, Hertz Liebster Jesu, uh, and, and has been arranged here by Bach twice, two different harmonizations. Ah, oh, holy Jesu, how have you offended that we may, uh, sorry, that we to judge you have in hate pretended by foes derided, by your own rejected, O most afflicted. We'll have, actually there are five verses, so if you've got your hymn book to hand, we're gonna have five verses of this, all right? So let's have a go, this is a wonderfully powerful hymn. Oh, and more importantly, it was requested by Roger Richards, who said, a very Lenten hymn for the first Sunday in Lent. This is a very Lenten hymn indeed.
Well, Donna Norris said, not familiar with this hymn. Well, Donna, it's a very beautiful hymn. Um, and both of those uh, harmonizations were by J.S. Bach. That the tune wasn't by J.S. Bach, uh, but the harmonizations were both by him. Gorgeous music and gorgeous words in this very powerful season of, of Lent. And as Roger Richards says himself, a very Lenten hymn for for Lent, basically. So, yes, absolutely. The next hymn is also a very good Lenten hymn. And I really like this hymn because it reminds me of being a chorister. And it always, it always sort of, uh, it was, I always found it quite spooky. And it always made me feel a little bit, you know, freaked out. Not in a bad way, but I always found it a bit creepy. It's Christian, dost thou see them on the holy ground? Uh, music is by John Dykes, and it's a little bit dramatic, this, because you ha it's, the, it's a hymn of two halves. It starts off in C minor, very mysterious, sort of creeping along. Christian, dost thou see them on the holy ground? How the powers of darkness compass thee around. Christian, up and smite them! counting gain but loss in the strength that cometh by the holy cross christian dost thou feel them how you get the idea right so that's what it's going to be like <laughs> so sit back buckle up and grab your favorite drink this is going to be a bit of fun let's have a bit of fun with this one let's grab grab some sinister sort of sounds if you know what i mean Okay, let's have a go.
I don't know whether in real life if I would play it like that in a church. I don't know. Hands up anyone who's sung that one in their church recently. How do you sing that? Do you sing it sort of quiet, loud, quiet, loud, quiet, loud, or do you sing it all the same volume all the way through? Let me know. That was a, um, a request that came, came in from James Mossop, who says, quite simply, a great Lenten hymn. I agree. I agree indeed. <clears throat> So the next one that we have coming up in your direction comes in from a, another member of our uh, community, um, Gregory Wanders, who sent in a hymn, which I don't think is all entirely that well known. It's, uh, but I think you'll enjoy it, so make sure you listen out. It's, my Lord has garments so wondrous fine and myrrh their texture fills. It's fragrance, fragrance reached to this heart of mine, with joy my being thrills. This is our 11th hymn so far tonight, so, and we've only been going for 48 minutes, that's probably a bit of a record, so making really good progress. And we've got, we've got loads more hymns to come, it's crazy. We've got, we have one more, uh, so one, two, three, at least three more uh, pre requested hymns, and then a whole bunch of live requests so tonight's going to be a lot of fun i'm glad i've got a, a big audience tonight because you've come in at the right time so stick around it's going to be it's going to be a good one tonight i can sense it i get good vibes from you the, the better vibes i get the better my play i think so my lord has garments so wondrous are fine
So one that you may not have heard before. My Lord has garments so wondrous fine and myrrh their texture fills. Sent in there by Gregory Wonders, who says, here is one you have probably never played. So that's very true. He says, it's not Lenten, but it was a favourite of my aunt's a long time ago. I think someone else said that in the chat, actually. So it reminded them of them, of their um, auntie or granny singing it to them. Anyway, let's have a go now at another request, which comes in uh, now from Benjamin Yao. It's, I am weak, but thou art strong. Uh, to the tune, I think, yes, a tune called Closer Walk. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk close to thee. Just a closer walk with thee. Grant it, Jesus, is my plea. Daily walking close to thee, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. And as I say, this is a tune called Closer Walk. no idea that apparently according to Richard Allegra Elvis Presley sang it well there we go we should get Elvis into BIS to um, you know do a let me do a duet with him he's still around right um, let's have let me just quickly check my email because I on my order of events now I have a request from um, a good supporter of BIS okay there it is who sent in, he said this, so Bill Ratey is um, a great supporter of BIS, 
He says this, a mashup of two great hymns that both match the metrical index of, and you Americans will know this, God of our fathers. This is a national hymn. Well, it's called a national hymn, I think. Um, and, the, and the other tune is Ella's. And he says, which to my ear is complementary. It's interesting. Both tunes are transposed into F major. So he says, play verse one to the national, uh, the national hymn, verse two to Ella's, verse three to the national, and finish with Ella's. The God of our fathers, um, whose almighty hand, you know the one, right? It's the one with the, um, the fanfares in between. And this has been arranged by Bill Rayty. So let's see how this has, um, has, has, has uh, comes out. I'm intrigued by this one. So let's have a go. Let's engage reeds, because this is a bit of a fanfare, this one, isn't it? Solo to choir. I'm intrigued, Bill. I'm intrigued. I want to know. Tell us all how. How did this come to um, your imagination? <laughs> okay, let's have a go at this one. Uh, where, would, where did we go? There we go. There we go. Like it, Bill. I quite like the combination of those two tunes. Actually, they both work at the same tempo, don't they? Which is important, of course. So yeah, well done. What do you think, guys? Thumbs up for the mashup between National Hymn and Ella's. 
I think so. Did he so. change the harmony in Ella's? Because the penultimate no, it was not the harm. It was I don't know. Line was not what I was expecting. Well, the whole thing isn't. The whole thing is um, a harmonisation that we don't recognise. So I tried to add in what I recognised, but I couldn't remember how it all went. Ah. Hello. So it sort of goes. Um, <laughs> This is, a, this is a different harmonization, isn't it? That's lovely. And then in E flat. Okay, so we have one more hymn, and then we have an organ piece, and then we're going to go into our wonderful top five tonight. So I need to go to my ELW. You, are, you Americans. You'll know exactly what the ELW is. You British folk, you Welsh folk, you Scottish folk, wherever you are in the world, ELW stands for Evangelical Lutheran Worship. It's a biggie over in the States. It's also physically a big hymn book. 800 and however many hymns, I don't know. Tons of hymns. Um, and I need to go to number 511 for a request, which is coming from um, our, fav our um, favourite louder emoji user <laughs> Brady Kilman thy strong word did cleave the darkness at thy speaking it was done for creator light we thank thee while thine ordered seasons run and then this is where we just need to repent of our sins a little bit here um, alleluia alleluia praise to thee who light dost send alleluia world uh, alleluia without end so let's just take a step out of lent and then we'll come back into lent <laughs> for hopefully some of your live requests later on please do keep requesting that's what makes virtual church a wonderful place to be your live requests so for Breda kilman lo thy strong world word did cleave and i'll give you four verses brady okay it sounds like um, our little Charlotte's going to join in.
like that was a bit of a spontaneous um, uh, playing really that was a, a request from Lewis Harvey um, it was um, praise the Lord with drums and cymbals um, it was a, a composition by Siegfried Karg Ehlert arranged for organ here by Harold E Jackson not a very Lenten piece of course it's more of an Easter piece but hey who am I to tell um, Lewis uh, Harvey you know you can't have that if he requests it he's going to get it so that draws a close to the end of the pre-requests part of virtual church thank you very much Sean Pierce who says thank you to Richard and all those behind the scenes thank you Sean for your donation that's very kind um, so now we go into my favorite part of virtual church and I hope your favorite part too our top five tonight so these are a really wonderful selection of hymns and I think you'll know them all so this comes in from uh, Fern um, Harbecker or Habecker and he says they say, they say dear Richard I hope this message finds you well well it has I wanted to express my immense gratitude for the opportunity to partake in the uplifting experience of beauty and sounds weekly virtual church services well they're not quite services but let's not forget that though I can only catch it occasionally due to the time difference here in Pennsylvania each session is a true delight Hymns hold a very special place in my heart, serving as a conduit for spiritual connection and reflection. Growing up in a church with a long-standing tradition of rich congregational singing, I've always cherished the depth and resonance of this musical form. I would be overjoyed if you could incorporate sections featuring the doodle organ, which is where we are which holds a special significance for me. Thank you graciously sharing my top five hymns with your online congregation, more of an audience, I think, the BIS community. Your dedication to uh, spreading positivity and inspiration is truly remarkable and deeply appreciated. Well, you make me blush. And, but your top five and your company is deeply appreciated by me and your kind words are also appreciated. Without further ado, says Fern, here are my top five selections. Although narrowing it down was no easy feat. <clears throat> right, well, so Fern goes straight in with a banger. Absolutely, this could be number one, but actually this is number five. So guys, bear this in mind. If this is number five, where on earth are we going to go for number one? So number five in Fern's list is Eternal Father, strong to save. Told you this was a good list. Oh, actually. Oh, 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 oh. I think she's. I, I think actually that might be a different hymn. I think I think it might be. Can you find it for me very quickly? Um, is it in there? Is I don't know. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, Bobby, Bobby, do, do some stand-up comedy quickly. Oh, that's oh, I think I might have just um, Cat, cats got ahead of myself there. If I, actually, not reading the rest of the first line. Why is it Eternal Father what? When, when to, to thee. thee. When to thee. Not Eternal Father, strong to save. Eternal Father. Right, let's play one more hymn before we do Fern's List and I'll find it. We're going to come <laughs> back to Fern's List. Well, let's list. go to number four. In All the, right, um, okay. If you can find that for me, that'd be great. That was a bit of a, uh, an, an annoying blunder. <laughs> let's go to number four in Fern's list which is holy god we praise thy name this german hymn holds a cherished place in my heart being a staple of my upbringing its richness and depth have accompanied me through many worship services and this is most definitely holy god we praise thy name with a cat on the keyboard Yes, oh, Bobby, indeed. On, Bobby. You're going to have to get off, I'm afraid, Bob. Come on, Bobs. Come on. What would Renata say? Goodness.
So let's now go into the next hymn in Fern's list, which was actually number five, but I found it now. Eternal Father, when to thee, beyond all words, by faith I saw, before thy boundless majesty, I stand in silence and adore. So, and Fern says this, the intricate interplay of voices in this melody has always captivated me, weaving together to create a profoundly moving experience. It's a gorgeous tune. Uh, the tune, I can't actually remember what the tune is called. Wareham. Wareham. Well done. How did you know that so quickly? Because I've just looked it up. What, did you pause time and look it up in about half a second? I was looking up while you played that one. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Fair enough. It's a great tune. A really great tune. Beautiful hymn, isn't it? Beautiful hymn. The tune's called Wareham, and it was Eternal Father Went to Thee. Number three in Fern's list is Lift Your Glad Voices. And this is a, this is a, oh, what a favourite. A perennial favourite. A perennial? Perennial favourite particularly during Easter celebrations. This hymn excludes, sorry, exudes joy and optimism, reminding us of the promise of eternal life. Lift glad your voices in triumph on high, for Jesus have risen and man shall not die. Vain were the terrors that gathered around him, and short the dominion of death and the grave. 
tune, as far as I can see, is called Resurrection. Lift and glad your voices. started to get excited during that one and they were thinking it's Easter it's not quite Easter yet Mr. Bell Ringers and Mrs. Bell Ringer as well we've got a few weeks to go yeah I think they were getting uh, rather excited by that hymn let's go into another hymn which is number two in Burns list and no doubt the bell the bellers the ringers will um, will ring off as I start playing this next hymn it is oh God thou faithful God and Fern says, Bach's masterful composition never failed to enchant me. The exquisite harmonies and individual vocal lines beautifully convey a sense of reverence and devotion. O oh God, thou faithful God, thou fountain ever flowing, without whom nothing is, all perfect gifts bestowing, grant me a healthy frame and give me, Lord within, a conscience free from blame, a soul unhurt by sin. So let's try and find a baroque type sound on this organ, and let's enjoy these this Bach uh, chorale harmonization by the great man J.S. Bach. This is number two in Fern's list. O oh God, thou faithful God.
beautiful, isn't it? Which takes us into Ferns number one. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. And this is what Fern says about it. This hymn holds a deeply personal significance for me as it served as the opening congregational hymn at my wedding nearly 25 years ago. Its majestic crescendo to the final verse never fails to stir my soul. I need to make a mental note of that. Majestic crescendo to the final verse. Okay. And it serves as a powerful expression of praise and adoration. So this is number one in Fern's top five hymns. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Four verses of this terrific hymn. Hecky or Heike just says a great top five list tonight with the thumbs up emoji. I completely uh, concur with that sentiment, Fern. That was a really fabulous 
top five hymns. Sorry about the little confusion at the very beginning of it. Eternal Father, when to thee. It reminds me of what uh, my teachers used to tell me at school, or all of us at school before exams. Read the question. Q. Yes. Read the question. Yes, indeed. No, I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So thank you very much, Fern, for that. That was a really wonderful list. If you would like to send in your top five, just like Fern has done, please be my guest. Next week, or very soon, I have a very interesting top five coming your way. Someone has sent in a top five um, and they've chosen their favourite hymn from each liturgical season. That would have been quite hard to do, but I'm very intrigued to see which hymn from each season reigns supreme. Ooh, let's find out soon enough. Okay, let's now go into... <laughs> let's now go into... Um, I haven't got a, a, a sound effect of that one, have I? Well, you need to get one. Oh, so you haven't got your microphone on. No, it's because I was eating a cereal bar. You've always got a, you've always got a really... <laughs> you've always a got an excuse bar, for something, haven't and you? And it was really and it's, chewy. It's never a good enough excuse. <laughs> I was, I was mid mouthful, and I thought that it would be too loud. <laughs> so right, guys, off. come on, let's go into our next section, which is the live requests now. This is where I, it's all over to you. So this is where you make it as wonderful as it can be. So the first request that we're going to have tonight comes in from uh, Thomas Maronta, who has requested, my song is Love Unknown. We haven't had this tonight, and we're about to have it. It's a wonderful tune by John Ireland. Um, my song is Love Unknown. My saviour's love to me, love to the loveless shown, that they might lovely be. Oh, who am I that for my sake my Lord should take frail uh, flesh and die. Thank you very much, Thomas, for your $10 uh, for this. That's very kind. He says that this was his communion hymn today. Thank you very much, uh, Bottleman Bob, for your 50 Canadian dollars, who says, my mother and I are so enjoying these hymns. I must admit, Bottleman Bob, they are a very good selection, and it's nothing to do with me. It's all down to you lot. So thank you very much. Let's go into Thomas's request. My song is Love Unknown. Listen out for the verse, then crucify. Let's see if we can find um, a, a, a crucify sound, a rather sort of shouty sound on this organ. I'm sure we could find I'm one sure somewhere. Sure, dig one out from, from Doodle Launch, I'm the sure. ranks. <laughs> the ranks, indeed.
what a wonderful, wonderful tune. It wouldn't be uh, a Passion Tide or a Lent or an Easter without having sung that. A wonderful, uh, wonderful tune. Thank you very much, Thomas, for sending it through. Um, I right. liked what you did with the swell box in that on the build up to the then crucify. It's a very it effective good. swell I box. I can hear the it? Vox yeah. Humana. I've not used it much this week in, well, like, in terms of a solo. I, I should probably try to use it at some point. Thank you very much for giving me all your likes. By the way, we are at 226 likes. So if you haven't clicked the like button, it's really, really helpful, honestly. It just is completely free to do it, but just it just basically tells Google or YouTube that this is a cool video, that people watching it are enjoying it. People watching it like it. And Google then thinks, I say Google, YouTube then thinks, hmm, if these people like it, perhaps other people will like it as well. And then we'll share it to other people. The more people will see it. So then so more people can join the BIS community. That's basically why I, I ask you to click like. So thank you, 244 likes now. If we can get to 300 likes today, that would be fantastic. We've got 324 people watching now. Um, if we can get 300 likes, I know most of you will have clicked it already. Clicking it more than once doesn't help, I'm sorry to say. Uh, probably just unlikes it. Okay, let's have a go with our next request, which comes in from Kathleen Lewis. This is, um, um, how do you say this? Herzlich lieb hach, uh, hab ich dich. Um, that's the name of the tune, at least, but I thought the words here I have our um, Ach Herr, lass dein Leib um, en, enger lean. Line. Line, sorry. Oh, is this the last movement of the John Passion? Um, I, I, no, the last movement of the John Passion. No, 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 not at all. Or is it? I Might can't be. remember. I, is it last? I don't think it's like we, I, we should know this because we're doing it. Where is your square's my Baron Writer score? Your Baron Writer score is in my office. Oh, let's go and look. <laughs> The 250, 61 likes. Come on, keep click, clicking like. If you haven't clicked like, please do. <laughs> Magical moment so, at the end of the St John Passion. That, so you've had all the terrible stuff and the death of Jesus, and then, and then Bach looks forward to the to the afterlife. Um, it's magical. Lord, when comes that final day, may angels bear my soul away to Abraham's bosom. Take it. Let then my body's anguish cease, my soul to wait the day in peace. When thou again awake it, what joy it 
uh, then will be the very son of God to see, to gaze up upon his holy face, my saviour on the throne of grace. Lord, oh hear me, hear me, thy name I praise eternally. And it is, as Caroline has said, the very end of the Johannes Passion, the St John Passion, which is a wonderful piece. It goes without saying. It's, when, when I performed it, anyway, we started it really quietly, that movement, because you've had all the drama and the, and, and, you know, the ubaltators and the uh, anguish and the, and, and the drama and the death, but it starts really quietly and it's, it, it's beautiful. It's like a, a, a rays, rays coming down from heaven. Indeed. And then it builds, builds up at the end. Well, we, yeah, the, the, our performance, we, it ends loudly, actually. Oh, so does ours. No, so does ours. It, it, well, it, it, ours. it, it yeah. The last few bars sure are loud, is. but the beginning of the chorale, we started very quietly. Oh, interesting. Which is rather magical. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go into our uh, next sponsored request, which comes in from uh, Elijah. That's a great name. What does Elijah say? Let me find Elijah's sponsored request. I can he find it? It's not there. Okay. Um, oh, sponsored by Bill on behalf of Elijah. Thank you very much, Bill, for sponsoring this on behalf of Elijah. It is deep were his wounds and red, O oh, cruel Calvary, as on the cross he bled in bitter agony. But they whom sin was wounded sore find healing in the wounds he bore. I know this one, I think. Well, let's have a go at it then. Let's see if we can learn it. I'll bring, I'll bring out the tune on a uh, trumpet so we can hear the tune. Hands up or thumbs up if you know this tune. Because I, I can't give you a thumbs up because I don't know it at all. Thumbs up if you know it. See that I I asked you if you knew it if you did give me a thumbs up and Gregory Kathleen are the only two people who knew it so a new one for um, the BIS community nice tune though so thank you very much Elijah for suggesting it and 
and Bill Rayty as well for sponsoring it on behalf of Elijah. Thank you very much. And then the next tune, which comes in from Glenn Snyder, is a very well-known tune though. So thank you very much, Glenn. Thank you very much for your five dollars. That's very kind. Um, this is Jesus, the very thought of thee. Let's go into, could you chuck me, um, actually no, I think it might be on here. Could you get me the common praise please? Just in case it's not on the iPad. Is it, it in is. the back of the org? Oh, here it is. I'll answer my own uh, question. Jesus, you, or Jesus, the very thought of thee. Jesus, the very thought of thee. I had it fairly recently, I think. There it is, I got it, don't worry. And it's just an Agnes. Yeah, it's here. The music is by John Dykes. Jesus, the very thought of thee with sweetness fills my breast, but sweeter far thy face to see, and in thy pressure, and in thy presence rest. Gorgeous tune, this. And really nice words as well. Let's have a, the corne um, on the grate, which we haven't yet heard tonight. So we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll build it up on the great division. Here we go. Beautiful tune, isn't it? Really, really beautiful tune, as Roger Kingston says himself. Lovely tune. So that came in from Glenn Snyder. Thank you very much, Glenn, for sending that in. A nice way to sort of take a bit of um, calm. Uh, so thank you very much. Next request comes in from Quentin. He says, Richard, please play O Sacred Head, Most Wounded by Bach. All five St. Matthew Passion harmonizations. I don't have all five to hand actually. We could find them with a little bit of time, but not quite live <laughs> because yeah, we have a copy of it upstairs, but I can't. It'll be an interesting exercise, but we can't do that tonight. Maybe, maybe next week. Quentin, what? if you want to come back next Passion week. Passion Corrals. He wants all of the, um, you know, the. Um, yeah, Passion yeah. Corrals. It's but all, all of the um, no, all of them from the well, Matthew not, Passion. Yeah, but it's not. There are other Passion. There are all the Corrals in that Passion. Yeah. It's uh, 
But yeah, so we'll have to have his other request, oh, which God. is Dear Lord and Father of Man. Well, why don't you do this as week? a top five later in the pa later into Lent? Because um, it would be the same hymn over and over again five times. No, because there are different chorales, aren't there? In the in the different chorale tunes, they do they do get they do recur. A few Someone times, could put together. Here's a suggestion. Top five chorales from the um, across the St Matthew and the St John Passions. What are your favourite chorales from the St John St Matthew Passions and why? That would be a very learned top five. Can I challenge someone? Does anybody fancy the challenge to do that one? Any of my learned congregation? Let's get Charles Stewart along. Well, yeah. He's an expert. But he doesn't watch though. Uh, so our sacred head. Most wounded. We'll put that, park that to one side, Quentin. But we will do your your alternative, which is dear Lord and Father of mankind. And thank you very much for your ten dollar, ten pounds. And I like your avatar, which is, it looks like it's a Dalek from here. <laughs> Although it is tiny on my screen. Is that a Dalek? Doctor Who. Dear Lord, this is what we're going to have now. I don't know why I just sang it, but.
that just a beautiful hymn. I think that is, has to be one of the greatest hymns ever written. And, and, and uh, Parry, who wrote the tune, unwittingly wrote that hymn tune and uh, unwittingly wrote such a famous hymn tune because it, this um, tune actually just comes from um, his or, an, an oratorio, which I just forgot the name of now. Hear my words, you people. No, 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 no. that's oh, praising the Lord. Oh, that's praising the Lord. You're very different. <laughs> um, was it three night three? What is it in here? Three, three something. Three five three. It comes from an oratorio called, and you're all shouting at the Judith. There we go. The very unknown oratorio Judith by Parry. We should listen to it. We should find it. In fact, when I go for a drive next, wherever that may be, I'm going to put it on in the car. Listen to it, Judith. Uh, hello to Maddie from Ontario in Canada. She's a first time listener here at the recommendation of Sean Pear. So thank you, Sean, for recommending us to That's Maddie. That's what we like. We like it when people recommend it. So thank you very much, Sean. There's a definitely a I strong you Canadian a, contingent of BIS supporters. So welcome to you all. Indeed. Welcome to everybody. Well, exactly. But I'm just thinking about our Canadian. So we've, got lot, we've got some people from uh, Canadian, uh, Canadian branch. Canadia. 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 Canada, that famous country, Canada, <laughs> Canada, Canada. <laughs> Let's have a look. This, this next one comes in from uh, Ben Wallace. Ben is a um, definitely a long-term listener. Thank you very much, Ben, for your support over the years. Uh, and Ben has requested, uh, I know whom I have believed to the tune L. Nathan. Is that right? Is that how you pronounce it? L, a simple or a... L. Nathan, it's certainly spelled Nathan. I suspect it's not Nathan, it's, I don't know. It sounds I have no Spanish idea, or something. Dear, L, I'm a friend, L, I'm afraid. Nathan, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much, Ben, for your $10. That's very generous, thank you very much. I know not uh, why God's wondrous grace to me he hath made known, nor why unworthy Christ in love had redeemed me for his own. Then the refrain is, but I know whom I have believed, and I, sorry, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. Quite a long sentence, that. <laughs> and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. So we're at 289 likes. I'm sure there, might, there must be 11 people watching right now who haven't clicked the like button yet. Please click the like button. I want to see it click over to 300 uh, likes tonight. I'm sure we can do that. I'm sure we can do that. Okay, let's have a go with this one while it's all clicking the like. Get some flutes on the go. You like a flute? You like a flute? Do you play the flute? I've forgotten how.
that's a nice tune. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much, Ben, for sending that one through. So, 300 likes. And thank you for 300 likes. I don't think we've had 300 likes before on a, on a virtual church. It's nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Um, it just helps. It helps spread the video. It helps spread the love <laughs> to uh, to other people. Um, because YouTube, the more likes it gets, the more positive it is, and the more YouTube will promote it to other people. That's that's all it's for. Okay. So thank you very much, Ben, once again for requesting that one. Katrina Clinton is up next. Uh, another. Um, supporter of Beauty and Sound. I really appreciate all of the support that you guys do give me. Katrina has been supporting BIS for a, for a long time. And she's asked for, what wondrous love is this? Let me see what Katrina has said about it. She says, please, what wondrous love is this? Thank you. And then gives a nice heart emoji. I was going to say, I didn't think she said much about it. And, but Katrina did donate $20 towards it, so that's very kind. Thank you very much. What wondrous love is this? Oh my soul, oh my soul. What wondrous love is this? Oh my soul. Actually, I might use the copy on my, um, uh, in my hymnal on the iPad because it's, it's actually it's more, it's better spaced out. It's a gorgeous hymn, this. What wondrous love is this? You know, give me a yes. So it's called Wondrous Love. It's an American folk hymn, and it's uh, it's yeah, four verses of this wonderful hymn for Katrina. Let's use something that we haven't yet used yet. So what I'm going to use is T S three and one fifth Nazard or the, the um, twelfth, two and two thirds, a quint, five and one third, and then I'm gonna basically put, play that up the octave, and that should make a nice quint, uh, a corne sound. In theory, let's have a listen to that.
love that. I think it's a really, a really wonderful hymn. As, as Paul Richards has just said, and when from death I'm free, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. It ends with, uh, I'll sing on through eternity, I'll sing on. It's a very powerful hymn, that. So thank you very much, um, Clint, uh, Katrina, for requesting it. Okay, let's now go into a request which comes in from Janet. And Janet has requested, uh, Man of Sorrows, what a name. I think this is a rather good one, isn't it? I think this is a rather good one, although it ends with a rather naughty word. But, as I say, this is not a church service, so we, we can use the forbidden word of, I'll say it, hallelujah, in Lent, because we're not. This is not a sacred service at all. This is just a guy playing the organ for my friends. Uh, Man of Sorrows, what a name. And this comes in from uh, Janet uh, Hagfors. And what does Janet say? Janet says, would you please play um, Philip Bliss's Man of Sorrows, What a Name. It's more of a communion hymn, but I think it works for Lent also. And Janet was very generous and donated 20 pounds towards Beauty and Sound. So Janet, thank you uh, very much indeed. Okie dokie, let's have a go then. Okay, let's have a go.
I gather that we have a couple of new people watching today. I'm sure we have more than a couple. We've but talked about Maddie already. I want to just say, yes, we have, but I just want to say Maddie from um, Ontario, Canada. From Canada. And Win Whitmere. Who, where is Win Whitmere from? Are you from Canada as well, by any chance? Probably not. But anyone who's new, let us know, and I will. I like to know who's in and who's new. So it's always a treat for me. Oh, hi, Bobby. Bobby likes to know too. Bobby's just uh, Bobby's just appeared to find out. Okay. She's giving you her own personal welcome. Bobby, you're so naughty, Bobby. Let's go into uh, Lord Jesus. Think on me. Uh, this has been requested by our good friend DCT Online. I think you sometimes goes by the name of David. <laughs> but I think DCT Online is a great name. So Lord He, he Jesus, also said think on me. he would pot potentially enjoy yes. to hear, like to hear some Noel Rawlsthorne. He would potentially like to hear some well, Rawlsthorne. Well, question mark, I think. Oh. What do you want to do, Bob? Are you going to let me play it? Oh dear, you're playing it in E minor. Oh, there it is, look, what? over the page. So you want me to play that raw song? Oh, look, that looks a bit outrageous, doesn't it? It looks a bit, um, it looks a bit fruity for, oh. such a, for such a gentle hymn. Oh, well. Well, then verse five is, Lord Jesus, think of me, when flows a tempest high, when on, when on doth rush the enemy, O oh, Saviour, be thou nigh. It's quite a jolly, jolly ending. Bobby, come on. Darling, come on. Do you want some of those B words? Do you want some of those Bs? M maybe Mummy can give you some biscuits. How does that sound? Bobby, come on. Come on, you come need on. to get off that, that manual there, there Bobby. There we go, thank you. Oh, poor <laughs> Bobby, she's still got her shaved belly. Okay, <laughs> she's not very well. So we'll start quiet and then we'll... Oh no, she doesn't. Come on, Bobs. Come have some biscuits. We'll do a crescendo, okay? <laughs> come Bobs. Bobby. Let's start with the um, the core anglais down in the choir division. Beautiful. It's a 16 foot stop, so it'd be in the uh, sung in the uh, male range if you like. And then we'll go from there. And thank you very much, James Palmer, for your help tonight. It's, I think it's what we're doing is really useful, very very helpful for me. So thank you very much.
not crescendo there for me, but um, so we had it had to it had to end like that before we got into the no raw slot because there's a one or two fruity harmonizations in his reharm there. So that was Lord Jesus, think on me to the wonderful, beautiful uh, tune Southall, or as the locals call it, in Nottinghamshire, Southwell. Don't you know? So let's now go into another request, which is one of my favourites. Um, this is coming from Martin Buckland, who is apparently the fa uh, whose father was the head chorister at Manchester Cathedral and then a lay clerk at Westminster Abbey. Well, and uh, Martin has requested one of my favourites. You know this. A lot of you will know it. Let's get the... Um, can you, is, it, um, let me, is it on here, or do we need to go for the uh, ancient and modern? Ancient and modern, I think. I know what you mean. Barry Rose. Yes, but yeah, we need, to get, it, we need to get it onto the iPad. Your spend. hero. Yeah. Okay. It's got a good flat and go. seventh, Martin, hasn't Martin it? Martin donated uh, 30 Canadian dollars. Oh wow, and Mart so Martin's living in Canada, so Martin must be an expat, um, or maybe your father was, um, because, yeah, Manchester and, and London. So, immortal, invisible, God only wise, in light, inaccessible, hid from our eyes. What was the, um, the quiz question that you managed to guess, to get it right, with, uh, was the answer, was this him? What was the question? Can you remember the question was? No. When was that? The, uh, Which quiz? the lockdown choral quiz that we did. Oh, yeah, we won that, didn't we? Absolutely. What were we called? Quizitus Factus Est. Oh, yeah. Who, that was uh, such a great name for a team, and we won. Quizitus Factus Est. So, who came up with the name? I think it was you, wasn't it? It wasn't me. Yes. I'm not taking not that. It was a like massive that. It was a massive quiz, wasn't it? Of even song. Uh, and, you know, open to anyone, really, in lockdown, and, and our little team won it. It was a good team. It was Arundel Cathedral, wasn't it? Some of the organists from Arundel Cathedral. Well, it was all of us. And me. Yeah. And you. On Zaya Zoom. No, and there was someone else as we well. We absolutely nailed it. Quiztus Factus Est. <laughs> that was a great name. That was, that was <laughs> the, the finest hour, that. <laughs> Martin says, yes, I'm a Brit who moved to Canada in 1988. Oh. There we go. Well, it's good to have you uh, with us, Martin, tonight. Uh, thank you very much for chatting and getting involved. Michael says, um, we are blessed to have Richard play for us every week. Anne-Marie, what does Anne-Marie say? Let me sort of refer back to Anne-Marie. I was just about to say to the newcomer that we are blessed to have this caliber of organ playing from Richard. Well, sometimes it's all right. Sometimes I completely make a bit of a Horlicks. Uh, listening to it is paradise. Well, that's very kind. That's very kind. I really appreciate that. Okay, so um, since Dino, we've only got a couple more to go, and then we'll have an organ voluntary. What am I going to play for a voluntary, by the way? What am I going to play for a voluntary? What's a good Lenten uh, piece for a voluntary?
really great penultimate hymn there. Thank you very much, Martin, the four, for suggesting that. Okay, I think this now takes us into our final hymn, and it yeah, really agree. is a fantastic hymn. This one great comes way in to from end. Um, Eleanor Hart. A really great hymn. It's called Hereford, the tune. She has said, just because, but would love to hear, O thou who camest from above to Hereford. Yeah, that's a great tune. We sang it at our good friend's funeral, didn't we? Jackie Browning's funeral recently. It was very appropriate yes. for a funeral. Yes, we did indeed. Yes. O thou who camest yes. from above, the pure celestial fire to impart, kindle a flame of sacred love on the mean, on the mean altar of my heart. There let it for glory burn with inextinguishable blaze and trembling to its source return in humble prayer and fervent praise. Okay, so, uh, and then after this, I'm going to, let's have a look. I'm going to go straight into an organ voluntary, straight after, straight after it. Okay, so, O Thou Who Camest From Above, to the tune Hereford, uh, by Samuel Sebastian Wesley, no less, one of the great uh, church England, a uh, church uh, music composers, uh, and the words are by Charles Wesley. It's a great family teamwork here. <laughs> okay, let's have a go at this.
Well, that was a Toccata, as you might have guessed. Um, I wish I could say improvised just by me like that. I wish. No, it was a Toccata on, you know the tune, Jesus, you lover of my soul, uh, Abra Whistworth, by David Bednall. It's a great piece. It's uh, published by Oxford University Press. Um, and it's, it's, it's really fab. It's a really crashy, loudy, loud piece. And that's how David can improvise, you know. You know, it's all right for some, isn't it? Basically, <laughs> if, if, if I could do that, I'd, yeah. I'd do, I would just improvise all the time. I'd never play any repertoire. But anyway, so that was um, the Toccata on Aberystwyth by David Bednall on the tune, uh, Jesus, you lover of my soul. Obviously. So, thank you very much everybody for watching, for listening, uh, for clicking the like button at 330 likes, which is fantastic. Um, thank you very much to everyone who has donated tonight. Um, that's really um, generous of you. That is all going towards, we are obviously saving up all of our money, uh, every donation, uh, Every donation, donation we get through BIS, I'm just clicking heart, all of the donations that I've received tonight, goes towards the music room. So all £192, or that which I received tonight, um, less YouTube's cut, they took about 30% of it, boo, uh, will go towards the music room. So thank you very much for helping out. The bells are on, which can only mean one thing, it's time to end. So thank you all so much for watching. It's been really wonderful. Thank you, big, big thank you tonight to James Palmer, who has done extremely well. We, we were trying something new tonight, and I think it's worked really well, James, so thank you very much for that. Um, uh, jo Jojo Rowling says the Takata was awesome. Thank you for, uh, for a pleasurable afternoon. Well, I can tell you're not in England, because here in England, it's five minutes past 11. So you must be over the pond. There it is after the afternoon. As, as, as Garrett says, oh, says, cheerio everyone, see you next week. Well, you took the words right off my mouth. Cheerio everyone, I'll see you next week. Goodbye.